Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Let's Play for Frog Bell Tolls. In the last part, we got here to the Eskimo Village. And now we're going to be proceeding on to see well, what else we can do. Now, I'm sure I want many points out you guys have noticed. For one thing, I am using emulators for a lot of the games I play. And I'm sure a lot of you have noticed there are times where pretty much, for some reason, my mouse clicks off. That happened particularly in, I believe, the part where I fought... No, the part before I fought Magnet Man in uh, Battle Network 2. And, uh, it loved happening this part for some reason. I don't know why it did, but it did a lot, so... Uh, got to check my computer specs out for stuff later, I suppose. But anyway, down here, you got yourself a speedstone. That is required, as usual. In fact, a lot of really upgrades you get in this game are required. And here we got some bears for some reason. I believe when they're sliding, they actually do damage you, but I didn't even chance it, so I wouldn't know. You know, it's really funny, because if I actually left all the battles in, this would still only be like 16 minutes, because these battles don't take long at all. It's like Dragon Quest 1. And now that we've talked to that frog, I just want to show this area for later reference, and so I can make this little shortcut. We are actually going to be heading, uh... I believe, to the aforementioned ice cavern we were told about. Uh, yes we are actually, now that I remember. Head on north here, to the right. Well, as if there's any other way you can go, actually, really, when you think about it. Sorry, wolf. Avoid this bird however you can, because, uh, they're not fun to fight. Anyway, here we are at the ice cavern, but as you might be able to tell, we really can't progress. Spell? What spell? I'd better ask this elder guy, but who is he? Yes, we need to find the elder so we can go to where this guy is. If you, I went back and talked to the people in the village, and it's pretty much required that it's here. Hey, frog, who lives here? And he won't let us pass. And he can't understand us, and we can't turn into a frog because it's too cold. And the sage advice, blah blah blah. So now that we, now we're in the, sh uh, in the shit, in the shop over back at the village, so we can make some progress. What happened? No one's selling the shop. Riding Hood ran away to the of here. The place is full of monsters. I bitter myself with worry. That's awful. Don't worry. I'll save her! The prince is on the job! yabba dab dab do I do like the, the music for this town in particular. Then again, this game's soundtrack is just amazing. Anyway, now we have to go find R Riding Hood. Go around the village and pretty much just follow the path from here and you'll make it there fairly easily. Also, what they mentioned fear trees there. It's the treants again. And they're even easier now, because you can take them out in one shot. I don't know why I'm standing around like that. There we go. Thank you. I you gotta love the magic of editing. And down here we got a lifestone. Booyah, it's always nice to have more of those. I don't think there's any of those left in the game, actually, because I believe our life maxes up. Maxes up? Maxes out right next to where the sword is. So it looks to be only like three life stones left, maybe? Still got a lot of power and speed stones, I believe, though. Ah, I love editing these things out. Okay, that's weird. Uh, for some reason, when I was editing, I forgot to edit that battle out. Ah, uh, well. Actually, that's also a good point where I can tell you that, yes, the enemies can drop items. Joy fruits and uh, eggs are the most common. Anyway, two screens out here, I did forget to get to show getting a chest, but I did anyway. And I believe it was 50 to 100 nuts. And in that, we got a Prime Nivea, or however the hell you pronounce that, which is pretty much just the high potion. No Mega Elixir, though. Well, technically. Hey, that's Riding Hood, little missing girl, isn't it? I'm not even going to try to read her. It's Prince. The shop owner is really sick about you. Let's get you home. Yeah, if I even try reading this, uh, you'll go deaf <laughs> from the high pitchedness. Sorry. <laughs> Pretty much, uh, she's beating. He's beating her for not doing what he wants. What? I'll teach him a lesson. It's Prince. Eh, thankfully they teleport us back here by the game, it's by the game itself. That's good grammar. 
Where were you? I was so worried. Hold it right there, old man. I've never laid a hand on her. She told me everything. No use in hiding it any longer. Y you're one of Delorin's men. Indeed, I'm gathering funds for Lord Delorin. I was waiting for the right time to capture you, but it's in the guess it's now or never. Let's go. Oh, I really wish that the bosses got their own unique music, because hearing the normal battle music is kind of odd. Well, it's more of an encounter theme by itself as it is, eh? I won't forget this, and I don't think we ever see him again. <laughs> no need to thank me, but I'd like to ask a question. Is it true that the Elder lives out on, no on the North Cape? Yeah, sorry for not reading these, but I don't want you guys to go deaf, and I don't want to lose my voice as it is, because I have to make a... I have to read something tomorrow for class, so yeah. Pretty much, now she's giving us a... Frogs later, which allows us to talk to frogs even as a human. Wow, sure that I could parley with that frog now. I'll take this and be off. Her sprite reminds me of something, but I don't know what. No, yeah, I think it's... I think it's the actual standard, uh, female sprite for this area. Go oh, away, wait. How can you understand me? Never mind that. Let me see the Elder. What business do you have? A spell? Okay, I'll ask him. Wait right here. And if you wait long enough, he will come back down. The Elder doesn't want to see anyone. You'll have to leave. Pretty much just talk to him. That's just me showing off what I'm doing to do, and this is me being an idiot and feeling to do what we're supposed to do. What we're supposed to do is that while he's in there talking to the Elder, you're supposed to follow him in like so. Hey, I told you to wait outside. No worries, I'll hear him out. Come in, sonny. I thought my frog was guarding the door. What? The spell in the ice cavern? I won't teach you that. Long ago, a mammoth was terrorizing this glacier. So I steal it away in the cavern. I don't want to end you disturbing it. But come on! I'll never teach you to spell. But come on! Never ever. But come on! <coughs> Voice crack, wow. What? You're searching for the gold mine to save the princess and your friend? I suppose I have no choice. However, if the mammoth wakes, you must defeat it. Agreed? The deal. Listen up. Ribbit, hop, squat, show me a way where one is not. Got it, Sonny. And now we can head back to the ice cavern in glee. And some little backstory in this random frog. Here goes nothing. Ribbit hop squat, show me a way where one is not. And now you now let's see what epic bridge they can make this time. Just hey, it worked. Just a floating platform, that's lame. Could have been some epic bridge. Ooh, but a chest, that's worth it at least. <laughs> and this holds fifty nuts. Bats! It's always the goddamn bats. Although they're nowhere near as much of a pain in this game as they are in, like, oh, Castlevania. Well, Castlevania 1 through 3 at least. Castlevania 4, uh, Rondo, Blood, and onwards are not that bad. Ooh, 100 nuts. It's a lot of free money at this point in the game. Oh, it's the frozen mammoth. Unsettling. How can you see that? How can you literally see that? It's below you. By the way, that chest there is a mimic, so don't open it. Unless you want some money from it, because I do believe Mimics do drop at least a lot of money. And here we got another 50 nuts, so there's a total of like 200 nuts in here, which is really good, actually. And there's another chest where we can't go into that area just yet, because it's beyond the Mammoth. Whoa! What the hell just happened? Uh... That wasn't... That didn't happen when I was playing the game, so that's a recording issue. That's... That's kind of scary, actually. And now we're on this other side that I can't remember what it's called. I think it's called Pudding Valley. <laughs> and there's a frozen waterfall. Uh, or is it dry? I can't tell if there's a Green Boy graphic. Green Boy? Ah, Pudding. The people must live in great splendor. Or it's lonelier than I expected. Now, this was the original endpoint, but nope. 
Anyway, let's get a couple of minutes everyone do. First off, I'm talking to everyone in the village because this is a point that I'm never too sure on what triggers what happens in this place. First off, buying some horseradish, or wasabi as it really is. Why? Some good funding. I forget what it does actually. Restocking on eggs. And as you can see there, there is a pickaxe over to the right, which kind of reminds me of Minecraft actually. I haven't played that in forever. And let, trust me on this, you want to buy 32 of these, because they are going to come in handy. And I think you need almost all 32. Or maybe I'm just being overly cautious. More than likely the latter. So yeah, this is a rare time where I will be showing me talking to everyone. And showing off a bit of a secret. Well, not really a secret, it's easy to find. But a uh, little bonus this village has, although I'm not sure if you can use it more than once, because I never need it more than once. Because the hospital does everything I really need, because I'm never really short on money in this game. Because, uh, in case you can't tell by now, aside from some of the platforming, which can be kind of painful, uh, this game's really easy. Then again, it's kind of for kids, I'm, so I can understand it, because this is pretty much as basic of an RPG as you can get. Not even Dragon Quest is this basic. Because at least that had hours of grinding. It's definitely no freaking Persona or Etrian Odyssey. So, as you might be able to tell through the dialogue, a majority of the people here are drunk. Yeah, we came here to dig for gold. Uh, so that's why everyone's idling about. But I have to go get some gold and save Richard and the princess. So apparently the Krokians took over the mine and don't seem to be digging for gold. They're more than likely protecting something. So that means it's our job to get into, into their business. <laughs> yes, I do have some cash, but I'm not giving any to you. Why? Because you're an NPC. And bunny girls. You know, for kids! Well, at least they're 8-bit and not really showing anything, aside from some really weird ears. And anyway, we got a unique sprite here. He doesn't do much at the moment. But talking to this guy up here, you can get wine. And, once you know it, even though it's 25 knots, that is a wine that is a full recovery. So, if you're really hurting and don't want to spend two times the amount of hearts that you need to heal, come here. However, I think uh, you never really get to the point where it costs 25 nuts to heal based off the thing, that thing, based off your health alone. Scorpions! Watch out for these guys. Notice I'm trying to avoid them. And running away. These guys are fast, and I mean fast. Run away from them as possible and try not to get into contact with them. They will hurt. A lot. And now that we've talked to everyone in the village, let's come down here. This well was mentioned by someone, and if you come here before talking to someone specific, I'm not sure who, there'll be a line here, and you'll need to go back and talk to people. So let's fall in here and turn into a frog. Because why the hell not? And back up. I wish there was a quicker way to get out of here, because that could take some time. Then again, I wonder what the world speed record is for this game. I'm gonna look that up right now, actually. Hello, Audacity. And now we're actually heading all the way over to the mine. Pretty much just follow where I'm going. You should get there, no problem. And the mine is to the north of this part of town. Uh, let's see. Tool assisted record for, for, fro for Frog the Bell Tolls is an hour and 27 minutes. We are probably already past that point. <laughs> well, that's... Then again, uh, there's all sorts of tricks you could probably use for that. Considering that's Tool Sister, that's probably like three hours. Oh, the irony of that guard. We're beginning this place from Prince Kyle. Heh. <laughs> Please. I played Metal Gear Solid, and while I got the third worst ranking for normal difficulty, I still got awesome. And now we're here in the mine, but I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time we're for Frog the Bell Tolls, we'll go through the mine and see what we can uncover through here. See you guys then.